The Time Vortex is experiencing some turbulence. It's dragging me forward and back in time, and I'm taking the opportunity to try out classical Porsches. This time, I'm in 2002 with the 911 Carrera 4S. Try to take a closer look at this yellow wasp without getting stung. So, it might be prudent to take the car to a calm, beautiful place. Perhaps I can find a good road there as well. Tonight, on our show on Pit Stop, Porsche 996 Carrera 4S, the all-wheel drive version. The 99 model, well, this one is the 2002 model, the facelifted one. This color, the yellow color, was called Speedgelb in German. The color definitely suits it. It would look too brash on a regular car, but the sporty Porsche only benefits from it. When you see something sexy, you usually check out its behind, and I'm going to do the same with the 4S. Under here is a 6-cylinder, 3.6-liter atmospheric engine so no turbos here now originally it produces 320 horsepower but the owner did do a slight modification here so it's got a custom air filter it's got a completely custom uh, aftermarket exhaust system the gear shifts are a little bit shorter and he got a couple of 14 year olds to play on the computer and alter the software so now it has around 360. It's a good thing they had some fun, because now another 14-year-old can do so. Me. You don't really see too many Porsches on the roads these days, at least over here. But then you think about, they only made about 175,000 of these over the years. And then you start adding optional extras, which make it even more unique, like this spoiler, or the black rims, or this yellow color or the daylight LEDs, which of course don't turn on unless you're driving, so I can't really show you those right now, because Porsche is very environmentally friendly. Let's look at the interior. So looking at the interior, you've got all this carbon fiber in the middle and on the dashboard. You've got this uh, individual yellow color everywhere, accents. You've got uh, Alcantara on the steering wheel, which is quite lovely, and you've got these sporty leather seats, which are surprisingly comfortable. The interior is decidedly from the start of this millennium, even though you don't care about that while driving. It also has a cool 4CD storage and player. I set on quite a few more or less sporty seats by now, and these ones in the Porsche are both comfortable and supportive. I also spoke about the aftermarket exhaust before. Let's listen. Okay, I admit, this road looks fantastic, but it's so damaged I had to be extra careful while driving. And yes, a lot of people wanted to take pictures, so slowly. Okay, I'm going 
going to go and say it right now. Just flat out, this car is fantastic. It's so much fun. I don't care if it's from 2002, it doesn't matter. You put a foot down. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely having a naturally aspirated engine where it's just, you, you know what to expect. There's no sudden bursts of torque. It revs nicely, it sounds fantastic. And I'm on a extremely bad road right now, but... Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm just a kid, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm on an extremely bad road right now, so I'm driving very slowly in a way because I'm afraid I will uh, damage the car because there's quite a few potholes and such, and the car is quite low to the ground. And also, considering that the road is so bad, it is, you'd expect that a sporty car like this would just absolutely chew you, chew you up on these seats. Oh, I love it. Gotta be careful, this pedestrians here. Um, you'd expect that a car like this would chew you up on those seats, that you'd come away just absolutely tired and sick of it. And sure, maybe I wouldn't take this car, specific car, on a one week, two week European tour or something, even though it could be done. But I have to say, it is surprisingly fun. I mean, surprisingly comfortable on these roads and with these seats. I have driven much lesser cars that are less comfortable. Fantastic. past the hikers and then <laughs> naughty consumption why would you care about that the average was 13 liters less on the motorways more on this road this car has a radio of course it also has a 4 CD changer CDs, of course, uh, it is a car from 2002. For all those youngsters, those are those round, hard things on which music is recorded. Mm. And it also has Bose speakers or sound system. But if you ask me, none of that is needed because the only thing you need in a car like this, the only sound system, is the one in the back. Oh, that's so beautiful. If you think about it, Porsche really has a tough job on their hands because every time they try something new, like in this model where the engine is water-cooled, all the really hardcore enthusiasts suddenly go, mm -mm, this is not a real Porsche. So it, it's, it's quite difficult, a, sort of a thankless job if you think about it. But I was also thinking, a lot of people say that this model isn't really that great because this and that, blah, 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 also water-cooling. but. I'll just say this, you have to drive it first. When you drive it, and when you have this smile, beaming smile on your face all the time while doing it, that's when you understand why people also buy this model. And I was looking on the internet, the prices for uh, used models go from around 23 to about 65,000. And um, the time to buy them, if you're buying a car like this, is now because the prices are just going to go up and up and up. So I'm also wondering if you have a better price, if you found something good, let, let us know down in the comments below if you did. Oh yeah, visibility. When you sit into a car like this, a sporty car, a Porsche, you think visibility is going to be horrible. You're going to see nothing in the back, nothing in the blind corners. It's just gonna be forward and that's it. But no, if I look into my blind corners, they're not, they're barely blind. They're fantastic visibility. I cannot believe that you can see so much. You can actually see more than you can see in a family saloon. It's incredible actually. And um, 
I love it. You have this panoramic view of this beautiful country. You can also write a comment down below if you have a fully functional car like this at home, but don't have the space and uh, have to get rid of it.